next one. Out of the I'm going to do two more, then I'll be done. Hello, thanks for joining me on video today, and I want to talk about the Law of Attraction. The Law of Attraction is a major topic of discussion nowadays because what it says is that like oh shit okay let me start over Hey, thanks for joining me today. And what I wanted to talk about is the law of attraction. Now, the law of attraction can be phrased a couple of different subtle ways, but what it basically says is that that which we focus on the most and with the most intensity and emotion, we will tend to attract into our lives. And unfortunately, what tends to happen is that people see a lot of the terrible things that are going on out in the world and they tend to have a negative expectation of the outcome of a lot of things. Oh, the guy I voted for is not going to get elected. Oh, the girl that I want to go out with, she's not going to like me. Oh, today I'm probably going to have a flat tire on my way to work. A lot of it's unconscious. We can be fairly optimistic but still have a pessimistic expectation of how things are going to turn out in our lives and therefore we end up scratching our heads when a goal that we set seems so far away we're not going to accomplish it have no idea how I'm going to get there and that is using the law of attraction once upon a time before we called it gravity we knew that if we threw something it would fall to the earth and once we understood that that was gravity we began to be able to do things that allowed us to harness the force of gravity for our own uses. Gravity can actually be used, you know, gravity is actually what is used to launch a rocket into space because we know that two equal and opposite forces pushing against each other will push one in the other direction, and that's what lifts a rocket off the Earth. With the law of attraction, knowing that it exists, is a very powerful thing because now what we know to do is to keep an eye on what we're thinking as much as we can. Now there's something called the unconscious or the subconscious and the way we deal with our subconscious or unconscious is you can watch positive films, you can uh, read affirmations and say them out loud and the way we can harness the law of attraction to get the things that we want is you say to you, you create a written goal. Uh, you cut out pictures or get pictures of things that you want and put them around to where you have to see them every day. And you read your goal aloud to yourself several times a day. And there's a number of other practical things you can do to invoke the law of attraction and to get it working for you rather than against you. I always have to speak to or give the advice that you should get the book Think and Grow Rich and do the exercises. That is one of the most fundamental works in how to use the law of attraction. A lot of the major figures who seem to be using the law of attraction most effectively, a lot of the figures in The Secret and a lot of the figures out there, a lot of the people who seem to be harnessing the law of attraction the best. They have great wealth. They uh, seem to be in a lot of great relationships. They're traveling the world. They seem to be reaching their goals. It all, they, it all came back to starting with Think and Grow Rich and similar books. Uh, another good book is The Science of Getting Rich. So where you want to start in terms of invoking the law of attraction or using it 
for your benefit is to get that book, do the exercises, and then number two, have a positive expectation. When you set a goal, no matter how big, no matter how ridiculous it might seem, expect that you're going to reach that goal. And then begin to do what you take, what you feel is the most appropriate action to begin moving towards that goal. And what that action will do is it, it in combination with your expectation that you're going to reach that goal will begin to tell the universe to align somewhat with that goal and then as you get a little bit further up the road all of a sudden it becomes apparent to you what that next step might be it might, you can call it intuition uh, maybe the right person shows up maybe someone gives you an opportunity I remember one time I was almost not even going to be able to pay my rent but I expected that I was going to get a job before it was too late and I had been looking for jobs, I had been sending out resumes, I had gone through the job boards, I had been taking action. I wasn't feeling sorry for myself, I just expected I was going to get a job. And literally on the last day, a job dropped out of the sky. And that's happened to me a few times in my life. And not because I'm lucky, I haven't won the lotto, I'm not that lucky, I just expected that before it was too late, I was going to get a job. And one more thing I wanted to talk about is I expect that I am going to over time accumulate wealth and because of that I started my own business. And if you're interested in additional streams of income then just check out the link below and begin to use the law of attraction to enhance your life in that area. I appreciate your time.